Okay, so why did we spend the previous video discussing some method for changing the frequency, right? Why did we discuss a method of changing your modulated wave frequency from one carrier frequency uh, using a mixer to another intermediate frequency? Why would we do that? So we might do this, right? Because if we're a receiver, let's say that we received a message. All right, so we're, we're uh, some radio receiver. And we're trying to receive a specific message at our specific carrier frequency. So, however, our, the equipment that we're using should be able to pick up a, a pretty wide spectrum of, of bandwidth. So, in addition to whatever channel you're interested in, right, there should be some other channels, right? If you're driving in your car, you know this. You've looked at your radio, you've tuned the dial to the station that you're interested in. So, your equipment in your car, right, it can pick up uh, many different spectrums. So if we have one channel of interest and other channels that are around it, we need some way specifically to pick up this one channel of interest. So we're going to do this. We're going to see that our mixing process of using an intermediate frequency is going to come in very handy for being able to select just our channel of interest and being able to ignore or remove those other channels. So if you have some kind of uh, tunable filter, and it's at some higher frequency that's close to your carrier frequency, you are going to have a, a worse high frequency response. This is just sort of the nature of filters. We discussed this a little bit in filter design, but the higher frequency that you have, uh, you're going to have a little bit worse uh, selectivity at the higher frequencies compared to the low frequencies. So if you have a filter on your car that's tuning, you're tuning your radio station, uh, it's a little bit harder to get uh, a good high frequency response. So some of the high channels, you might end up with a case where your filter uh, doesn't quite uh, completely eliminate an, an adjacent channel. So you might get some pretty bad selectivity here. So we need to find a way to overcome this issue. So we should um, do something uh, to, to remedy this. So what, what could we do? Should we space our bands out, right? So uh, in this previous video, right, these bands are, are pretty close together. So uh, should we maybe uh, space the, the channels further apart from each other? Well, I mean, that's not really a great solution because each one of these uh, costs money, right? So the overall amount of bandwidth you're using, that, that costs money. So if you're spacing out your channels, that's, that's just a, a waste of money. So we should come up with another solution so that we can keep our bands pretty tightly packed together, but still be able to uh, effectively get... Uh, tune or uh, eliminate the other channels that we're not interested in. So the idea is uh, that equipment that's tuned for a single lower band is going to have a better performance, going to be able to remove uh, adjacent signals, channels, or noise from it. So just like in here, we kind of said, okay, the higher you go in frequency, the worse your tunable filter is going to be. So if we could do something so that we're only using uh, a tunable filter at a low frequency, then we're going to get better performance out of this. And so that's where this mixer idea comes from. Can we mix some things together so that we can use tunable filters at lower frequency where they're going to perform better?